welcome 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 great dear friends and lovers of freedom wherever you are i welcome you all to this very <clears throat> brief and it's going to be a very quick one to this very quick uh, reminder to our honeys and debo group uh, in their continuously misguided uh, utterances so that is why i'm here this morning being the 27th of august 2023 the month and the year of our lord elohim but before i proceed i would like to pray with the psalm 82 as being directed by the leader of indigenous people of biafra Maze nando kukano the man that god gave to us the man like no other man, the man who have his people and love his people and have sacrificed every comfort of his in order way to better the life of his people. Let us pray with the psalm. Psalm 82, a psalm of Asaph. God standeth in the congregation of the mighty. He judgeth among the gods. How long will ye judge unjustly and accept the persons of the wicked? Selah. Defend the poor and fatherless. Do justice to the afflicted and needy. Deliver the poor and needy. Rid them out of the hand of the wicked. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. But ye shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. Arise, O God, judge the earth, for thou shalt inherit all nations. He said, he said, he said, Great dear friends and lovers of freedom, I welcome you once again to this very important reminder to the group of Ohanese Ndibo. Something I want to say, this message is very straight one and a very understandable one for those that understand the functioning of judiciary or the function of constitution or law. It's very simple. You see, the attitude of this, how saboteurs, or may I call it the seller, the sell, the, the sell out of their own people, how they behave. I have studied the character of saboteurs and then I understand the every single utterance of these particular individuals who have engaged in sabotaging the betterment of their own people. Group of Ohanes and Debo should have been the group as been named, as been called by their name. Ohaneze Ndibo group. And the word Ibo means the race, our race, who we are. Both those from the riverine area and those from the hinterland of Biafra. We are all Ibos. Then in that Ibo race, as a race and as a people, we now have what we call dialects, which is my dialect as an Ungwa man who comes from Ungwa land. It's different from the dialect of a man who comes from a Bony state. It's also different from the man who comes from a jaw. It's also different from the man who comes from a fig. It's also different from a man who comes from Amambara, 
He is also different from a man who comes from Enugu. We all have different dialects that made up Igbo. We must understand this. Then there is something that is bothering me. You see, it is high time Ohanes and Igbo begin to understand that the pattern they have been using for a decay have automatically changed. And don't worry, Halapo. Madhe Mama La Rara. When someone intentionally engages in evil that affects their own people, this is only a foolish man, or may I call it a very low life esteem man who always walk against his father's house. Even Bible led us to made us to know that no matter as wicked as a father is or how evil as a father is, he can never give a stone or a serpent to his children. But it is written in Bible. But in the case of Ohanes and Debo, Ohanes and Debo have continued to give stone and the serpent to their own people, to their own family. And this thing begins to wonder me and say, ah, because when you see the word of, when the word democracy, you must understand these two words, democracy, politics. Let me first of all explain the meaning of politics. Politics simply means securing the space of comfort and the betterment of your own people, not other people. Do you know why I'm saying what I'm saying now? There is a secret operation going on in Yoruba land. There is a secret operation going on in Yoruba land. Even with that, the operation that took place in our shoe state took place and somebody mistakenly, let's say somebody covered it and posted it. The guy that posted it had been punished by the Yoruba elders and the politicians. I hope you guys are under, uh, understanding where I'm going to. The guy that posted that operation against the killer Funanis in their forest, he was punished by the elders of the Yoruba and the politicians of the Yoruba. This makes me to say to myself, if is this reason that made Bolame the Tunubu to go as far as destroying the electoral process in using his money to buy power from the country of over 200 and something million people. In other way, to safeguard their own people, utilizing the power of being a president to manage to do that. I say, well, it means that the man know what he's doing. This, is, this should stand as a lesson to this so-called Ohanes and Debo. What I am telling you now, do you know that Ohanes and Debo group may not even know what I'm telling you? Because they are just a figurehead. Because nobody take them serious in that contraction. Because one thing about life is the moment you make yourself available to be used against your own people, those who contracted you, as far as you accepted it to work against your own people, you are finished. One, you will lose dignity, you will lose honor, you will lose respect. And you, you are not going to be trusted by those people that you are pushing the same goal with. It's like uh, the little boy in Finland. 
That guy have just destroyed everything about himself forever and ever, and he destroy it and he bury it. You see, as soon as Jack I go away, I don't see him do. Every time you go, you will have to go away. Oh, when you get back up, oh, when you get back to that baru on, oh, when I come back to that, he be as a family. Ah, how did this thing happen? Uh, this family take heart. Nobody will do that in Angwa. As far as you kill yourself, nobody does that. Nobody will pity you. Nobody will. Everybody will just. Even those that depend deep from their heart, they can only endure it secretly and they will not make that to be revealed to the public because you have committed abomination. Operation that took place in Oshun last week. A Yoruba senior officer that called me said, My brother, we have him back on in cleaning our bushes. There is a, a forest they went into, and the more than more than sixty eight Funanese were captured. More than, as I'm talking to you, more than 68 Fernandes were captured. And in interview, in interviewing these people, you find out that these Fernandes are the people who does not even know the territory of that place called Nigeria. Some of them were, when they were asking the other one, he said, that one speak a little bit understandable English. He, where are you from? He said he came from Mauritania, all the way Sahara Desert of Mauritania, that he is from Mauritania. How did you get to this forest? He said he's one honorable. How did this honorable meet with you? The honorable came to their country, Mauritania. The other one came from Chad, the other one from Niger Republic. The other one from Gambia. If you see the confessions of these people, you bow. Who contracted you? He say one honorable. Who is this honorable? He mentioned the name. So, while Ohanes and Dibu is busy selling our land, selling us very cheaply and very shamefully to to the enemy that will never have an end. Because Funani, let me tell you something. Funani political elite, I pity the ordinary Funani people. Because we must be sincere to ourselves. We must pity the ordinary Funani people. Because not all of them who engage in this evil is this all this their political elite, which I don't know what they want. They have conquered the land of the north through the foolishness of the houses. And I keep on advising them. Greedy man always lost everything he has or he has acquired when he doesn't understand what you call the limit of boundary. Go and ask. Any man in this life that does not understand what is called limit of boundary always lost everything he has because he will have confidence to himself that he can do if he can if he can achieve this thing in this street he have conquered he have conquered this street then he want to extend his conquest to other street forgotten that a strong man or a strong group of men may be occupant of that street you may conquer the street a due to the people who occupy the street are women or the people who occupy the streets are very lazy. But what about when you want to extend it? Now it happened that those who occupy the other street you want to go and extend your occupation now stronger than you. 
do you know that that moment you will lose even the one that you have conquered because those people now will now realize oh we don't even know what is happening to this street so you have conquered this street and we don't know that is when they will come because you have looked for their trouble they will so for you to have confidence and have courage to come trying to fight them to conquer them now they will now after beating you they will now enter into that particular place you have conquered already and they chase you out and even the place that you come from that may warrant them to even move forward to that your own particular own street and they conquer you they will drive you away from that place that is why if you're a sensible man if the final political elite in nigeria are sensible they should know that their, their limit is from is only the north you see this extension they want to engage themselves into because of uh, britain have given them confident that we are backing you france have given them confident that you are backing you because they have signed treaty with them with the western uh, leaders that they will protect the interests of the western leader as far as they keep on backing them giving them weapon they need but they forget that it's not only them that, have, that know how to operate weapon we also understand how to operate weapon but the difference within them and us is that we have value for life we have respect for life and they know it that anybody who has respect for life, there will be a moment that person is more dangerous. Because one, when he keep on negotiating with you, asking you to stop this reckless killing and the damaging of a precious life created by God, you refuse. When he will come after you, he will make sure that nothing breathes in your space. I am sending Ohane Zendibo this message to tell their Afnani. I am sending this message to this particular individual called himself Ohane Zendibo to send this message to the Afnanis. And they should learn a lesson from what is going on secretly now in Yoruba land. Tunubu have used his presidency power and start clearing the bushes in Yoruba land as I'm talking to you now. What did they do? After they captured them, they captured some weapon as evidence. As evidence. They put them and match them with security back to that place and they warn most of them that if you return here we will we fire all of you and they have used this opportunity now to gather information of those who are contracting these people down to the forest in in contraction corner while ohanes and Dibu is busy pampering them because of money. Ohane Zendibo asking to stand shorty for Mazin and the Kano. You know, most of most of us, I will not say those in IPOB now, because IPOB that I know now, IPOB that I know now has come as a foundation of wise men and women. Glory be to God. God always knew how to sanitize his umbrella. Any divine movement, God knows how to sanitize it. Just imagine how God used the capturing of Mazin and the Kanu, the kidnapping of Mazin and the Kanu to sanitize his foundation because I pop is foundation of God. I keep on telling the people. IPOP is not piloted by anybody, but God put somebody in charge to pilot his own mission. That is why you must listen to the leadership. 
when leadership ask you to wait, wait. When they, when they tell you to be silent for one week, be silent. That silent will manifest something in the camp of the enemy. Enemy will become confused for that one week silent order given to you. Because when a man is silent, his enemy become confused. I remember one certain time when one of the leadership that I will not mention the name, when Mazina Khan was with us, they came to a time, I think 2019, he told Mazina Khan to stop coming on Radio Biafra to, to review plans about the restoration of Biafra. That what he will be doing is to come and greet the Biafrans and cheer them up. And this cheer up, cheering them up, may he not last more than 30 minutes or 40 minutes. I remember that thing. But when the man said this thing, we did not understand the importance of that word there. And Mazen Nandekano was, his, was like, you know our people. His point is that he know, you know our people. If you keep quiet now, our people will be like, eh, we are not hearing anything from him anymore. He's not giving us up, updates anymore. He has been bought over. But he forgot that you, you don't need, sometime in life, we don't need those who will clap for us. As far as you know what you are doing, you don't need, you don't need that blood from the public. Sometime do things secretly and let the result be manifest. Imagine when Eastern Security Network was formed by Mazen and the Colonel and the DOS. The same DOS who could not sabotage the formation of ESL. That's why when I laugh, common sense is not common. The same Eastern Security, the same DOS, Directorate of States, men and women there, who have been working with Mazen and the Kano since 2012. When Mazen and the Kano want to form Eastern Security Network, he did not go to those who who entered through COVID-19, like Madame Oyibo, Bridget, Onel Ofebu, and the rest of them, who later set him, set him up in Kenya. He did not went to them. Imagine if, if, if he could have reviewed this thing to them. Do you think that Eastern Security Network will have heard? He couldn't have had any meaning. But they begin to plan this thing with that old people that he started with. And all of them, even me, even some IPOB strong members, could, did not even hear about it until this thing was flagged off. Imagine if somebody, maybe some of us hear it. Because there are people that their mouth and their tongue can never keep short. Imagine if some people hear it that time. Maybe they sit in a beer parlor or they sit in a restaurant or you will hear or he's, he is with his girlfriend or something. He will say, now for a hand up, you will be a plan now. And a plan is security. But that moment, he never knew that he had already sabotaged the system. He may be even taking it, uh, I have told my girlfriend because it's my girlfriend or it's my wife. Already review something that was supposed to be reviewed. That is how the world will fly. And uh, people will begin to peep, to pop nose. How, 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 how are they going to do it? But uh, everything was done silently and they flagged it off. And this is where Uche Mofo became mad. As a deputy. Because already those men there have searched into his attitude, know that this guy has a, a motive. It has a limited motive. 
So this kind of mission was supposed to reveal to him. So why I'm saying this thing is, imagine what could have been happening in our land if there was no security, Eastern Security Network, even before Mazen Nandekano was kidnapped. Imagine what could have been happening in our land. Imagine by now, in entire Eastern region, nobody will be able to produce cassava, common cassava gare. Nobody could be able to plant cassava to produce gare. Nobody could be able to plant vegetable to produce vegetables to cook and eat. Because this is the mission of the Fenani, but many people does not know. They wanted to give us indirectly food blockade. The same thing they did during the 1967 war, uh, genocide. This is what they wanted. They wanted to modelize it in the name of... That is why they keep on saying that time, uh, uh, farmers clash, henchmen, headers, men, he headers clash and the farmers clash. They don't want to name it the name it's supposed to be. And if you, if you, if you watch them, Ohane Zendibu was also using the name that Fanny handed over to them. Headers farmers clash. It was IPOB and Mazen and the He keep on hitting this thing. Funani had a terrorist man. Ohanes Ndibo was because of their political post or the position they want in that contraction for their own benefit and their family benefit and their friend benefit. Because any position you give to any group of Ohanes Ndibo is not for any benefit of a, even the state that individual come from. Rather, it's for only for him and his family and his well wishers and friends. Finish. Their political position in Nigeria have never produced anything to any community. If you say that I am lying, debunk my word by showing me evidence. That is how things is done. Oh, lion man, no. We can tell you what these people have achieved. Look at the place. The evidence is in Enugu, or the evidence is in Abia, or the evidence is in Anambra, or the evidence is in River State, or the evidence is in Delta State, or the evidence is in Cross River State, or the evidence is in Bayasa State. You show me. If you ask me what Afenifere, the Yoruba group have achieved since the formation of Afenifere, I like a man who live in Yoruba land, who grew up in Yoruba land, who school in Yoruba land. Every from my childhood, that is where I live. I will be naming it one after the other. I will name Coco House, the tallest building in Nigeria. It was put put up by Afenifere through Awulu. A premier hotel, Ibado, Mokola Ibado, who is located, the premier hotel located in Mokola Ibado, that has employment of over 100 and something persons, was put together by Afenifere of the Yoruba group. If you go to Ileife, we have Odudua University, which was put together by Afenifere. Should I continue to name? Agricultural University in what do you call it this place? It was put together by Afenifere. Polytechnic Kebado was gathered together and put together. The station of Polytechnic Kebado as well was put together by Afenifere. University of Ebado. University of Ebado was connection of Afenifere. This is the question that the group of youth, let me not call it that name that fear them Biafra. Let me call it old eastern old 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 eastern region. This is the this is the kind of questions that the group of this youth is supposed to be asking this so-called Hanes and Diego. What have you given to us? What rather what this group have done 
in the old eastern region is to, is to divide us more deeply because of their greed. When 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 John Nyamudu was president, what he was after is creation of state, creation of state, creation of state. That made me ask one question one certain time to the group of honest and people that is in this South America. I asked them question. I said, "Okay, la bofe." Okwenye, okwenye pataya la bofe, odroma. Is a taboo. It's abomination. A elderly person is supposed to manage soup so that that soup will remain for the children to eat. That's how, that is the attitude of Edda. But when Edda now being the one to consume the soup and leave the children empty stomach, that Edda is evil. I asked them one simple question that year. I asked them a simple question that year in 2017. I asked them, you that lives here in South America, state called San Paulo, a San Paulo state, one state of San Paulo, is comparison of Lagos state entirely. Listen to me, take pen and write it, and later you go to the Google and check what I'm telling you. I said, you live in this land, especially in this San Paulo, the largest state in this country. This San Paulo is comprises of Lagos State 1, Ogun State 2, Oshu State 3. I'm coming, I'm coming 3. Edo State 4. Anambra 5. Enugu 6. Abia State 7. Imo State 8. I say this is only one state, one state in a country, one state. Okay, let me just make it. Let me just count all the whole states in the eastern region. It's, some, it's only one state. Cross River, Bayasa, Delta, An uh, Anambra, Imo, uh, 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 River State, Abia State, uh, Ebony State, Enugu. It's only one state. Now you will now use three states in Yoruba land to complete it to be to be exactly the, the, the largest the, the largeness of the state. That's what I ask. I said, why is Munayamudu agitating for creation of state? In other words, to bring more division. More division. That is the hub during their goal. Let us create more division. So that all that happened, I need to make more division. Apa I need, I need something. Do you know that Nigeria as a whole, Nigeria as a whole, don't supposed to pass three states. And this is what Ojuku saw. Nigeria as a whole, don't supposed to pass three states. Yoruba land as a whole supposed to be one state. Awosa. All the whole land in Awosa is supposed to be one state. All the whole land in the eastern region, then you now join Bendobet and the complete eastern region. Supposed to be one state. But if you look at the utterances of Ohane Zendigo. Sometimes when they open their mouth to utter garbage, I ask myself, when you touch this one, they say, is Professor this, Professor that. When you, address, when you want to say, engineer this, engineer that. Doctor so, doctor that. Honorable this, honorable that. I ask question, and uh, most of them that come from our land, 
they have verifiable degree. I said, how did these people acquire this degree? This has been my trouble question. Sometimes I sit and I ask, I say, how did they? Because in my office, some of them, when we discuss this thing with white people, they will ask you. I will open and say, this person is C. Is well educated person. No? Because one thing with the white, when you address somebody as somebody who is educated, they expect that person character and the, his functioning, the, the head functioning of that person to be excellent. That's what they that's what they classify as being educated. They strongly believe by being educated, we make your, your upstairs more active and more reasonable. In other words, to provide solution to something. With all these men, you know, Hanese, they will say, is this, is that, is this, is that, is this, is that. At the end of the day, with the open with the with the issue statement when Ohanes and Debo issue press statement you read their press statement sometimes you ask yourself who wrote this press statement this is what I always do when I whenever I come across their press statement I, I after reading it I say, who is who is this kindergarten who is this someone that come from that is who is this child that issued this press statement? Because you, you must because you have to refer the after reading, you know that there is no understanding that you that's you know, okay. You may be one child who is in kindergarten that issued the statement, but maybe let us let us bring the child and teach him or teach her more. Gradually, gradually, he, he will or she will improve. Now, my question is now to Hanez and Deeb. Did Hanez and Deeb understand the meaning of and the appellate court, a durable court? A qualified court of a nation. Did they understand this word that I just mentioned now? I bring it down to the lower English. Because I forgot I don't know how to do it. But I don't know how to do it. 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 I don't know because yeah, yeah, he hardly may have ordinary something. Or the Kachuka Bugo Hon. They are under cost, they are under spell. Hamakuya Lapo Law, Constitution. Because before a judge we make a pronunciation of judgment, the judge must have been studied. And extract references to the similar or to the resemblance of such case. Which the, the, the judge who even the charge and acquitted Mazen and the Kano was also compromised in some area. I will tell you where the judge compromised. He compromised by not ordering the, the provision of those who kidnapped Mazen and the Khan. Because when the judge discharged and acquitted him, uh, the, the Mazen and the Khan, what should have been followed is the perpetrators of that particular act. That action supposed to be ordered to bring them and put them in prison pending when they will face their own judgment of international kidnapping. 
But that, that was not done. And I believe why that, one, that was not done is when the APC was profiling for political solution. I strongly believe that the political solution was what made the judge not to go deeper in that case. And now that they have Because what I mean, what I, for them to go, for them to place that case again to Supreme Court, I am telling you today that they have lost that chances of that political solution. So what I expect the Supreme Court to do is to now, according to the pronunciation of the appeal court judge that the Chad Mazen and the Canaan acquitted him to now go back and they complete the judgment and make the judgment standard. How are they going to make the judgment standard, if you may ask me, is to bring those perpetrators of kidnappers of Mazen and the Kano, place them into a wanted list for the federal government security agent to produce them from so 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 time to so 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 time. Because kidnapping is an international criminal act. No country. In this country where I stay, it is called sequestro. It is called sequestro in Portuguese, in Latin. Sequestro, let me tell you about sequestro. Sequestro, which is kidnapping. Yeah, go and ask any call your uncle who live in South America, call your uncle who even in Europe, in Italy, which I know about this particular law of kidnapping. It, it is better for you to go to somebody and shut that person to death. You may have 60 years, 15 years imprisonment to pay, and you come out. But if you dare you kidnap somebody in this country that I mentioned, this, like this country, if you kidnap anybody here, and within a second, police alerted, they alerted the police, they begin to do the operation and find out where you keep that person against his will. It is called sequestro. Sequestro, 20 years, you are not out. Go and ask, call your uncle and ask them. You are not out. Sequestral, you are not in the next 20 years, you are still in prison. But go to bank, carry explosive de uh, device, go to bank, go to many places here, blow it up, money scatter. They catch you. Highest six years, highest five years, some of them four years. They free the person. But the moment you don't hear that kidnapping case, your family will forget you. First thing your family will do, even the lawyers will tell them, just forget this person for now. It's because of kidnapping case, those that serve that serve that the serving kidnapping case in this country that make them make a provision for them to have children while they are in prison. Go and ask any, go and google it and ask. It is because of those who are serving sentence of kidnapping. Because one thing with white, no matter the situation you are, you have right to live. And that is how Biafra will be. This is why we are fighting for Biafra. No matter the kind of things you committed, you have life to live. Because they will tell you that it is not in their position to take your life. It is God who gives you life. And it's God that will take it, not them. That is why when police approaches those who go to robbery, you will see helicopter up. You will see police car like 30 down. They will be announcing and telling those, those guys, surrender. 
you will see the chief police officer that lead the team. They are not shooting. They are not like idiots that come from our place, like all these sars. They, they can't shoot. They only return gun when those people refuse to accept their their offer. First thing they will do, they will use a helicopter, pass and pass and pass in that environment, telling them to surrender that they are seeing them. They should surrender. They should lay down their arms. And you will see professionals, commandos. They call them commando. You will see the professionals. Well trained officers, they will lie down. They will lie without shooting any, they will lie down and the helicopter will finish the work and tell them they have surrendered. Those ones on the ground will be announcing, Come out, since you have dropped your arms, come out, come out, lift your hand up, raise your hand up. And that is how all of them will be coming out. They will be picking them and be dropping them inside their vehicle and zoom them off to prison. Without anybody being shot, without anybody being hurt. Because of those having kidnapping business, uh, kidnapping case in this land, the country make provision. For them to, like those ones who have gear friend, they will give the gear friend access to go and be visiting the boyfriend. Every Saturday, Sunday. Yesterday and today is the visiting of prisoners by their loved ones. Those ones who does not have boy gear friend before they fall into the prison, the family, most of them get married where they are in prison. The mother and the father will go and get a girlfriend for him. They will, they will take to judge. Judge will sign and approve that girl to be go and be visiting the guy. Before you know what happened, the guy will get pregnant. While the guy is serving prison, the girl is, is pregnant, he has a child for him. There are some people in this country, every of their child, like three children or four, were pregnant in prison by their husband or by their, by their boyfriend. And the government, will, as far as that guy is still in the prison, be holding, government will be taking care of those children on behalf of the guy until the guy serves the whole sentence and come out. As soon as he touched his, his leg touch out. Government will keep on taking care of that, those children until six months when the guy will recover himself and look for something doing, government will take off their hand. So how come in a place that is being colonized by English that knows all this law, now after the Sergeant Mazin and Canada quitted it, I told somebody, I said, this case is not complete. But now they have gone far. Because the, 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 the politicians in Nigeria, they are a bunch of illiterate. What they could have done that time is to obey the court order. Leave Mazin and pay him whatever compensation they need to pay. Pay him then apologize to him. So that if tomorrow Mazen and the Colonel remember that the case was not complete. Because what made me now revealing this thing to the public now is because of the the unwise state, unwise state, the Nigerian state government has engaged themselves by not releasing Mazen and the can as being ordered by the appeal court. And you will see that this thing now we brought many things out. This thing now is going to bring many things out. Because one, a man was kidnapped, due process was not followed in Kenya. Kenya judiciary did not even know. They did not even sign anything that, okay, let this man be 
repatriate to the country where they are accusing him. Such thing was not. Kenya judiciary is not aware. Kenya police authority is not aware. And his final destination was seen in Kenya. Neither the uh, airport authority, aviation authority, knew that somebody fly out from their country, which is another crime. Which is another crime. Okay, now, in all these circumstances now, on the, all these things that I have analyzed here, what is, it really, what is really wrong with Johannes Ndibo? Johannes Ndibo is talking about standing shorty. Are you standing shorty in regards of what? I don't understand. In regards of what? In regards, okay, now, let me, let me start from the beginning. Okay, let me help Johannes Ndibo. Oh, and are you standing shorty for Mazin and the Kano? That our people were being slaughtered in their farmland, which is the evidence idea. In Enugu State, before the formation of Eastern Security Network by IPOP, by IPOB, led by Mazin and the Kano, more than 15 cases of those who went to farm and was killed, butchered by the Funani, hence men. In their farm. That is one. In Anambra, because I keep the record, when all these things, when our people were there, I used to write them down, more than 15 in Enugu, I will check my book later. It's about, I think, 17 people in, en in Enugu. The one I recorded, though, the one that is seen by camera, not the one that was not seen. In Anambra, I recorded 11. In Nadia State, I recorded about seven. In River State, more than ten. In Bayasa, we recorded more than eighteen. In Delta State, about six cases like that. So all the in Eboni, Eboni more than twenty something. We are more we are killed and butchered in, in their farmland. So, Ohanes and Debo, are you standing shorty that Mazen and the Kano committed crime by forming security that will safeguard the farmland of the people of Eastern region? This is my please, please. Some people should write this on Facebook and tag Ohanes and Debo and send exactly what I ask. Is it what they are? Because before you stand a shorty for me, probably. I may have been indicted and uh, should be released under bail. Because a man that won his case does not go under bail. I think I have to let Johannes and Debo to know this because it, it seems that Nigeria state have destroyed their brain. They don't even understand what they are doing anymore. A man who won a case of discharge and acquitted does not need shorty or does not require going home under bail. Rather, if nothing was put as charges by the lawyers, of compensation charges by the lawyer, the man have every right after he get to his house to call his legal team and said five so, so so amount of money for my compensation the man also have right to tell the legal team i don't need any compensation i forgive them that is the two option that that man has It depends on the defendant to say, I need this or I don't need it.
So, Ohane Zendeibo, I don't understand the angle where you are coming from. Before you utter that garbage of standing shorty for Mazen and the Khan, we need you to table the offense of Mazen and the Khan because when you say you want to stand as a shorty, that means there have maybe there, may, there have maybe kind of offense that you have detected against him, or a new case that you have filed against him. That based on that, you will say, "Okay, come so 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 time." This case will be reviewed against him, and we will stand shorty for him for bail, depending when he will be will be reproduced to the court. So, give us the offense of Martin and the Canon, then we, learned ones in IPOB, will be able to go through it and study the case and give you reply. Then, if this is not, that means this particular man and woman in Ohanes and Debo, does it mean that everybody in Ohanes and Debo have automatically become an idiot? Have them just become automatic idiot? that does not know their left from their right. This is one thing about sabotage. Sabotua will disguise themselves in a manner that those who are not well informed or those who are not learned will be thinking that these fellows are for them. If he asks the illiterate ones now, the issue statement of Ohanes and Debo standing shorty, some of them will tell you, which I have done. I put attentionally asked some group of people, I said, Do you see Ohanes and Debo want to stand shorty for Mazin? One of them opened his mouth and tell me, Ah, no, Mazin Lion Man, I go like that. I smiled. I just wanted to test the man's brain. He said, okay, I'll go like him, I'll go like that. Oh, that's where I'm going. After I have allowed him to land it, I say, do you say what? I say, this is art of sabotage. He said, how? I said, now let me lecture you. What they are telling the Funani now, and what they are telling the British government is that, hold him. Hold him, we will decide when he will be out. That is what our hands and deep is indirectly telling them. But some foolish people among us is thinking that our hands, you see, I keep on warning Emmanuel Wanyang. Chief Emmanuel Wanyang should trade with care. In as much I know that he is among the bad egg in the eastern region who have never wanted eastern region to develop. But many people does not know this. Emmanuel Iwanya is, the, is among the men who want collapse of eastern region to become a typical forest. I am calling on Emmanuel Iwanyawu to trade with care. Emmanuel Iwanyawu, this so-called Ohane Zendibo, you are the president today, is not as business as usual. It's a warning. It's not, I am not advising you. It's a warning. I am warning you now. Remove your hand. Emmanuel Iwanyawu. At your age, you have been doing bad against the land of Eastern region. 
I don't want to call it Biafra. Let me use the, the word, the original word being given. Emmanuel Iwanyang, you are the bad egg against the development of that land. And if at this age, okay, let's say sometime, they say uh, the, 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 the blood of the youth, he want to make money. He want to survive so he can put his hand in some bad things. Then when he come of age, he will remove his hand because he has gotten what he has gotten, age has come. Emmanuel Iwanyang, you have done this thing when you were young. And that is your age. You are still continually doing evil against our land. Emmanuel Iwanya would trade with care. Trade with care. Not now that Africans are waking up. Emmanuel Iwanya, don't think that the IPOB are quiet, are silent. The silence of IPOB should be, you should be worried about the silence of the leadership of IPOB recently. If you are reasonable enough, the group you are leading now, Colonel Hanes and Debo, you should have quickly make a change so that the land will accommodate all of us. Because time will come. Time will come. We will ask all of you to leave the land. And nobody will stop us. Not even Britain that is backing you up will stop us. Not even France. Because one thing they will not do is to come to our land and fight us. They will use the same black people to fight us, and which is impossible now. France have seen that it is impossible now. The, the days of using black against black is gone. It's only Nigeria now, only Nigeria government who want to help the wicked Western world to sustain their benefit in Africa. And which is all the African country now are planning heavily against Nigeria. I thank the president of South Africa who have begun this journey. Nigeria is on a blacklist against African development. And the Ghana are seriously making a retracing step. Because they know moment South Africa have opened their eyes. It is going to hit them. And I thank other countries, Burkina Faso, Mali, Niger Republic, and Ivory Coast. I thank and uh, Rwanda. I thank other countries who, and Algeria, God bless Algeria, who have been coming up now to remove the hand of these Westerners in our continent. And because of the corruption of this politician in Nigeria, from the Yoruba to the Biafran politicians to Arima politicians, they want to, but they are, we will see where it will land. Let me tell you, Nigeria will be surrendered. The day it will happen, Nigeria will be, and I am asking individuals in army in Nigeria, like those come from Yoruba land, they should be wise. When it will happen, let them quickly run everybody to their own tent. The Yoruba officers should run to the Yoruba land and make sure that they defend Yoruba land. Why the Biafra officers in Nigeria should run to back to Eastern region and defend the land. That time, we IPOP are going to tear the rest country the boundary. Our work is to tell them, this is our boundary. Please. No one is Nigeria. If you want Nigeria, this is the Funanese. Face them in the north. Look at, look at their territory from here to here. Your oppression will start from here to here. If you want to wipe them out, wipe them out. But what we will not allow them to do is in the, in the name of Nigeria, in the name of fighting Nigeria, they will not come and tamper with our territory. No. The plan they have is a well, a welcome idea, and which I support it 100%. 
Africa must, Africa must survive on their own. Look at the palliative. All this Igbo Congress that betrayed Mazen and the Kano, bunch of criminals. I want to ask them, is that how their family received palliative in U.S.? Did their family line up on the line and want out? will be giving money that is due to family to share and they will not go and buy gare, buy beans, buy rice and be sharing them. I want to ask those idiots that is in this country called Brazil. I want to ask those, our people that are referred as a bunch of idiots that is in this land. Is that how you collect your own palliative? Because I'm working, I don't collect it. One day I'm going to go to the system of this country. I'm going to publish all of Nanema. Those who call who are receiving palliative. More than 4,000 Nigerians who are receiving palliative. I will publish your name. I will go into the system that I will print all of your name. And I will ask them to ask you, is that how you collect your own palliative? Did you go to someone somebody's house compound and line up? Did you go to anybody's compound and line up like a beggar in the north? Funani have Funani want to enslave all of you the way they have enslaved the Aosas. These are the dreams of the Funani. And all the politicians in that contraction called Nigeria uh, have adopted this particular shameful act. Imagine Tunubu. Mapping out for something billion for palliative and only to see people line up in somebody's compound to collect rice. The Yorubas who live in this Brazil who collect palliative become almost all of them collect palliative of 600 reais every month. 600 reais is equivalent almost like almost 100,000 naira. He will collect, his wife will collect, his children will collect. If they have three children, all of them will collect. Some of them will be receiving almost 400,000 to 300 something thousand every month from the Brazilian government. Is that how they collect their own palliative? I am asking the Yorubas in this land. Is that how you collect your own palliative in Brazil? Did you go to one Luciano? Or did you go to one politician in this land to line up his company and collect your plaintiff? How did you collect your own plaintiff? Because you have a data, database system. Database. Automatically. Every month you go to bank. You use your digital card for that. And withdraw your money. Everybody, everybody that receives palliative here has their date. Some of them 17th of month, every month. You don't need anybody to remind you. You go to card and use your ATM to draw the money from machine. Automatically, the money will come out. Cash. You carry it and put it in your pocket. You'll be happy. You'll be, a lot of, you'll be happy. You will go home. Some of you will branch in the bar. First of all, drink. Some of you will go to... Uh, all this uh, prostitute house, Akunakuna house. You go there, you pay money. You pay money to Ashawo, you make love because you are happy. From the money that government give you. But you have reached your turn, your brothers and your sisters are lying up in the MC Olomo, in one Aburu house in Oshudi. Lying up in Abuleba, one Aburu house in Abuleba. Making noise like a like fly that has no direction. At the end of the day, they hand them over rice, hand them over beans. Is that what 4.6 billion provide? Share that point, share it to each state. Let us make the mathematics. Share that 4.6 billion into each state. Lagos is how many population? And all of you are here. You will not talk. 
wicked black people. You will not hear your voice. When IPU will be talking, all of you will go and gang up. They are owned too much. They are owned too much. So if they enjoy what you are enjoying here in their own father's land, will, will heaven fall? This has been my question. Will heaven fall? Is heaven going to fall? Every month, all of you will go. Your wife will go, you collect. You will go and withdraw her own money with her own card, with her card that attached with her name, her, dat, her date of birth. Every database is intact. Your wife will go, collect her own. You will go, collect your own. Your children who have reached 80 years will go, collect their own. All of you will come home with pocket with pocket swell up but to help those in your own country of origin to hold the government officials accountable to do things as it's supposed to be you won't do it if lion man do it you will tag lion man a wicked man you will tag lion man as somebody who has no respect as lion, lion man who 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 is who is talking about Nigeria, where you come from? And that is in Nigeria, where you come from, have never given you any benefit. Because they use, they use one thing. They destroy your, your mind of reasoning. One thing is tribal separation and the nonsense religion of of muslim and the christian very two nonsensical religion that have destroyed this world these two that's one thing they have used to destroy your mindset so being you a muslim or being you a christian religion does not affect your reasoning because if you affect your reasoning this Brazil where we are could have been the worst unreasonable people in the world because they are fantastically religious people. But when it comes to doing things right, all of them, both their pastors and their members, the pastor will not tell you here that uh, God will give you, God will do that. No. He will, the pastor will tell you, go and hold your government. That's why when the time of protest, pastors are the ones who lead the protest. Go and ask. Pastors in this country, Reverend Fathers are the ones who always in front line of leading protests against the government. Telling, telling their people, telling their own people the importance of holding government officials responsible for their own benefit, for their own betterment tomorrow. I keep on telling people until we understand that God owns us nothing. The only thing that God has owned on is life. You wake up in the morning, you do like this, you stretch your hand, you move, you find out that you are alive. That is only that is the only thing that God is owing you as he as he as he is created as he is created as he is as your creator. That is the only thing that is owing you. He owe you nothing, he owe you money, he owe you nothing, he owe you car, he owe you no house. The only thing you, you owe you is life, give you life, give you good health. That is all. If anybody tell you God is going to give you money, tell that person you are an idiot. You want to make money, go into the world. The money is there. If you want to build a house, you want to make, you want to buy a car, go in, go and work it out. You want to build, go and work it out and build a house. The only thing God owes you as someone he created is life and good health, period. And if he gives you that good health, he don't take good care of that health. I say, you know, human body is like a vehicle. If he buy you a vehicle, he don't take care of the vehicle, he don't maintain the vehicle, the vehicle will scatter. It will scatter. 
all my men, all my age men in my village. If you see them, see me. You will, you will believe that this one's a grandpapa. Because they don't know what is called maintenance of body. They live their life anyhow. The same thing. If we see a woman of 50 years in abroad, looking sexy, looking beautiful, maintenance, God has given her life. She added her own by maintaining her body, servicing the body as the service car. But you see a woman of 30 years in some villages in our land. If you don't make if you make a mistake, you may call you may call her address as a grandmother, as a grandmama. As a grandmama. Until the day we understand. That all these people call Muslim clerics affairs who who champion the affairs of monks. Until the day we understand that these people are evil, they are deceiving us. Until the day we understand that most of these criminals standing in the altar, they know nothing about how the world functions. The day we understand that better for all of us. We now face the reality. Look at Kumui, as old as he is. I know how many people who die in his hand when he, when he was telling them not to take medicine. That medicine is of devil. I know how many foolish people who die in deeper life. I know how many people who die in deeper life when they were practicing don't take medicine. While he was teaching them not to take medicine, his own children, he prepared them and sent them to US, sent them to Canada for study. When he was teaching them not to watch television, where his own children were watching television, watching cinema, watching movies in America, watching movies in Canada, until his children call him and tell him, Daddy, this thing you are committing is a crime against humanity. Why can you tell, why are you telling people not to watch television, not to know what is going on around the world? Why are you telling them not to? That was when he turned around and they lift the lift the lift the embargo he placed on his members. Tell them they can watch television. Tell them they can go to hospital. Why won't he continue to deceive you? Why why won't he continue to mess up with your life? Because he have tried it before it worked for him. Muhammad Buhari, God show him he's going to fix Nigeria. Anybody that come, God show him that he's going to fix Nigeria. Tunubu, God have shown him to, that he's going to fix Nigeria. The one, the same man. The question you need to ask him, Sir, what happened with the Buhari oil? To know what he will reply. Because uh, Britain told you, don't, don't, uh, slave, obey your master at all times. Do not question your master. Everything is in the Bible. Where they will back up if he asks if so as I'm talking now, somebody will say, Lion man, take it easy. Don't go there. Don't go there. Don't talk, don't talk about them. Hey, don't go there. Lion man, please I come out of the choir. My hand is not there. As soon as you make that statement, their shoulder rise. They say, Yes, we still have some people who are still foolish following us. But as, as I'm talking now, they come across it and hear it. All his mind, he will say, ah, "Nah, this one, this one is is telling is telling these people. He want to open the eyes of these people that I'm holding bondage. Oh. This one is really the spirit of God is inside him. It's, because they know, they know they don't serve God. They know that those who speak the truth are the sons of God. They know. So they are afraid of us. That is why they are afraid of IPOB. 
That's why they are afraid of IPOB. All of them. That's why they want everything that will make IPOB to collapse. So that they will continue in their old way of evil. Well, I don't want to go more deeper on that issue. But one thing I know, one thing I surely know, one day, one day, everything, God will take care of everything. As soon as Biafra is restored, God will take care of every damn thing about us. Everything God will take care of. God will take care of every damn thing. There are things that we don't need to worry ourselves much. But the system that will be put in place will take care of all of them. Please. Anybody who know who have uncle in Ohaneze or have father or mother or brother in Ohaneze should tell them to stop playing that old foolishness of sabotaging the effort of the people of Eastern Region. That enough is enough. This is not those days. We are on a new era. They should know that eyes are seeing them. This is all I have to tell them for today. God bless you all for joining me and God be with you. Today is Sunday. If you are going out there, those who are going to church, go to your church, a place of worship. Worship God in truth. Go to church Appreciate God for giving you life, for giving you good health. Stop going to church and demanding for God riches. God give you rich. The rich He have already given you. He can never give you two times. The rich is in you. Is it there? Is it your society? And stop worshiping pastors. Stop being foolish. Stop worshiping your fellow man. The only daddy you have is the man who pregnanted your mother. That is the only father you have. That is the only person you can address as your daddy. This stupidity of Ndushoji, Odwa Gunu, madness, madness attached, you are going to eat. The only person, hear me very well, the only person that is your father, your daddy, is the man who pregnanted your mother and gave birth to you. That is all. That is the only daddy you have. The respect, the rest are sir, a ma. The respect are sir, madam. The only person who is your mother is the person who carry you in her womb. The rest person is madam. The rest woman before you is madam. Nobody is telling you not to go to church. If you go to church, you go to church with your brain intact. Know when you worship God. Know when somebody is want to con you inside church. When somebody wants to fool you. If you have money, if God has blessed you through your business, you want to help the gospel of God. You want to help. You voluntarily drop money in the church. Don't let anybody to tell you, drop money, God will give you this. God, have, God can never exchange his blessing. You can never buy blessing of God. You can never use what God gives you as a money to go and buy favor from God. It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. I am the lion man who is telling you this today. I am revealing it to you. It doesn't, anybody that says, give me 10,000 if you want to, you want to so thing before the ending of the year. Tell that person to say, shut up your mouth, Mr. Man. Sh keep quiet. You don't need anybody to tell you to drop money in the church. If you know when God bless you, although black people, you, we are terrible. You know when God bless you, you know when to go secretly drop money, like how white people used to do it. 
you God bless you willingly. Don't need anybody to remind you. You go to church where you worship. You put your money. You drop your money there. For the help of the gospel. Simple. Most of you, Ndishoji character is what making this criminals to commit crime on the pulpit of God. Because if they keep you quiet, you will not drop. Ndishoji is if they keep you quiet, you will not act. Everything I talk about, man, they are doing everything I man there. And that is why they keep on committing crime against God. When they say, "Okay, let us add this strategy," because these people, I am behind it. I can drop crying anything. And any anybody who is preaching to you say that he is a full time pastor, tell that person to give you the place where he is in Bible. Every man and woman on this world is bound to walk. Tell that person, sir, open Bible for me. Show me where the full-time pastor or full-time prophetess and full-time prophet. Show me. Anybody say like a full-time pastor is a criminal, is a thief. Oh, no, she. He's a lazy man. He's a lazy idiot who does not want to walk. He's a lazy man. Tell the person, I know a man, say, call him a lazy man. Anybody say, I am full time pastor is a criminal. Doesn't exist. Pastors here in Western world, some of them are medical doctors. Some of them are nurses. Some of them are engineers. Some of them are businessmen that own supermarket, big, big ones. Some of them are many, they engage in business. They get this in business, a fiscal business where what you will be seeing. Verifiable. Companies, owners. None of them will tell you they are full-time pass. It doesn't exist here. That is why Reverend Fathers. From our land, they will go to they will go to Italy. They will study after studying. They will go to abroad. They will go to America. They will study after studying. They want to. They will not pay bishop. They will not bribe bishop from America. They will not bribe them to 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 give them Paris in Nigeria. I knew Reverend Father when I was in Italy. He used to come to my he used to come to my flat. He used to sleep there. Sometimes he will leave because where they give them his quarters, you know, all these uh, uh, school school bed, all this school bed, all this school bed, uh, what do you call it, a uh, boarding house, no privacy. He's my good friend, very good man. He used to come to my house. Sometimes he will. He said three, three days, four days, two days, that time. He will come there and relax. He will say, nah, any time that I beg him, nah, eh. Oh, no, don't run out of me. And then you have one full room. With a good bed, you have no one. You have no one. You have no one. But you have no graduate there. You have no one. 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 You were saying one neck, la la pan nearby, and when electricity here, oh, good road, fly everything, do all in organize every in my home. I was shocked. That's in one neck. Now, my phone case a treaty and I brought the one in any high respect, the one in any high regard. Yala we buy and I go road to go before my head men, Paris and a gore motto. A quaggy, a quaggy. Train, transport, I got here. Come on, I'll be brief at the station. Now, only time you only use motor room, any time you have a baby. Just imagine. <laughs> and, he, and he got it. He got it. 
2008. 2008, he finally go to Nigeria and they give him I I know how much he paid Bishop. I know how much Bishop charged him that time. Bishop charged him 2007 when they were he was looking for 4 million naira to give so that they will give him parish. I contributed a lot. I contributed a little bit from it as I can give. Yes, I contributed 400 or something thousand. I said, I'm going to support you. One year, one year, you know, like US, I send some friends, I send them, they were in there, they were in 2008, they were in Paris. I will not mention the place. He's a good friend of, he's a good man. All I'm going to do is somebody go try this to Tara 4. They were in there, they were in there. This is all the brain, or this is all something that benefits black man. He does not think that this thing that is benefiting me is damaging tomorrow. This thing is destroying future. That is one thing with me. Let me tell you something. If I want to make money, I'll make it today today without thinking future. But what thing is that is this? That I, I always say that Mars and Nandi kind of change a lot of us, change a lot of us mindset. If he, if it's okay, since that is the system everybody's running, let me join them. If you join them, you are destroying more futures, unknowing to you. Unknowing to you. This is one thing I have found now. This is one anointing I received from Mazen Nandikan. It's not all about what you make today. It's all about how you will keep the future safe this is what all of us is now thinking because we have seen that this is what the white made their place to be the white keep on developing every day every day every day every day my street if you go there now street this is a tiny street to where people live the third road the entire no gallop, nothing, nothing. Two days ago, because the one I live, they have they have graded it last year and do it. When I woke up in the morning, I was going to work. I saw that everywhere has been scrapped and tired. I said, 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 I Now, the one that is running here now in this Brazil now is now they want to build city underground. Engineers have been building this over 10 years now. Maybe in the next 20 years now, people, people will begin to, to move. They have, they have done trend that will move underground without coming out on the surface land. Only come out on the surface to drop you. And when it's dropping, you will think that you, you are being dropped on the surface land. You never know that you are on the, you know, limon. It is when the, when the lift is bringing you up to the surface land, you will not know that, ah. So, I've been on the grand train all this way. Our politicians are not thinking towards that area. Our, our, Pastors and our imams, they are not thinking about what that tell you. Only what they think is politicians give us our own share. We know what to tell these people. We tell them we go to heaven. Kambo Nia here now I'm a Christian. I am a Christian. If your mindset is to go to heaven after you die, you are a foolish person. You are an idiot. You are you fact you are only idiocy is is unrepairable. It's, it's irredeemable. Those who brought you the religion, continue to behave like them. Plan the future. Happen, happen in here. Happen where you go hang out there. Leave it. Leave that here. Leave first. Fix the future. Fix, fix the earth where you are. All about here. Leave where you go hang out. 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 Hang out.
Ah, la quoi que les gens ne sont pas sur la la rue estate. Ils ne sont pas sur la rue estate. What is it? Or, 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 So that you are said, since the white man who bring the region tell us that until we die, we will not enter heaven. Then you are sick. You are going to hospital to prevent the death of assessing the heaven. Now, it is time you people are supposed to be thinking, opening, thinking wise. Of we bendo shina bwe lozo. Just a driver turn on. Easiest way to assess the heaven. Yes, yeah, see, also driver turn on. Turn on, boy, you turn. Driver, bring the motor at speed. I see you with the wire. Your mother knows how to drive. Why can't you tell the driver to increase the speed so that both of you will go to heaven? Easily. Nah, if I can go on a bad speed, that I'm a man, I got a little bit. You end up like one, like one pothole. But that's some sort of thing, I got a little bit. Very easy. Okay, okay. I just showed you. From me, from here, I say God bless you all. If you go out there today, please drink responsible. Don't drink and drive. I'm not going to get a little bit for now. I'm not going to get a little bit for now. I'm not going to get a little bit for now.